Hello, I'm Ross Contino with Bites Bread and Barbecue. Several of my friends have asked me about where I get my wallpaper for my desktop computers um, and how I get a new wallpaper every day. And the photos are really quite uh, spectacular. Uh, since I'm a Linux guy, I decided that I would go ahead and show you how I get these. I actually get them from Bing Daily Wallpaper. And we're gonna go through three different Linux shells uh, today uh, just to show you uh, how to put them on. So first off, on my particular desktop, I am running Manjaro, which is running a GNOME 45 that you can see, 45.1. And this is a Arch-based system. Uh, it is a, a GUI over top of Arch Linux, and I wanted to try it. It's currently what I'm using for my daily driver, and it gives me my Bing-based wallpaper. But let's take a look at what three popular environments currently are. Um, we have GNOME running here on Fedora. We have KDE, which is based on, uh, which is running on Neon Linux here. And we also have XFCE running on Linux Mint. Each one of these are uh, a different shell to run over top of Linux. Uh, and you can get this wallpaper on each one of these different variants um, and have it change every day if you so desire. Um, they get progressively more lightweight in option and XFCE can actually be used on computers that are nearly 10 years old and make them perform nearly the same speed as today's newer computers that might be running like Windows 11. So you can actually take old computers and use XFCE to rehab them. But let's go ahead and take a look at the different environments and how to get a Bing Daily wallpaper on them. Let's start with Fedora. So here we have the most recent version of Fedora running GNOME 45 and you can see that we do in fact have uh, GNOME 45 running on Fedora. Fedora is a um, variant of Red Hat which is a US developed form of Linux. So to get Bing Daily Wallpaper on here it's pretty easy. You actually go to extensionsgnome.org or you can use the extension app if it is installed on your GNOME um, computer right there but I find it easier to use the website and you just go there and you type into your web browser that you want Bing and there's a Bing wallpaper click on that and it'll come up and it'll say install and you'll notice that it doesn't really seem to change a whole lot once it comes up here as being installed However, this went really, really quickly on this example here because I had attempted to try it before. So somewhere lurking in the background, Bing was already there. But it did in fact install the extension and it put on the Bing Daily Wallpaper for that particular day. And it would install this normally onto your computer, but you would have to log off and log back on for it to take effect. Once you do that, the on GNOME, it'll update itself every day when you start your session. You don't have to do anything further and it'll keep updating it every time that you use your computer. And this gives quite beautiful vistas. Uh, and you can see that usually you would have to log off and log back on but because I had been playing. That was not the case this time. Okay, let's take a look at Linux Neon. This particular variant uh, is a um, KDE Neon. Um, KDE was originally developed by a university student um, in Germany that um, wanted to develop his own environment. It is a little bit more lightweight than GNOME is uh, and it can run on older computers. It also gives the appearance for Windows users of having a very familiar feel. And you can see here that we are running the latest version of KDE on the latest version of Neon as of this date. So um, this particular variant of KDE, um, since it is on the developer of KDE's version of Linux, it is constantly updating as always the most recent. There are other variants out there such as Kunbuntu or Manjaro has a KDE version. There's lots of different Neon or uh, lots of different Linux out there that are using KDE. They may be slightly different. KDE Neon tends to have the most recent uh, version of KDE running. Um, 
So we take a look at this and it's really simple on KDE. You go into the settings and you go to um, look for the wallpaper setting or the appearance setting um, in here. And it is actually built into the environment. If you scroll down to, um, I'm sorry, if you, right click and you go to change the wallpaper, you can see that there is an option for picture of the day. And there are several different sources that you can pick from to update your wallpaper every single day. One of which is NASA, but I selected Bing since it's what we were talking about. And you apply it and you should see immediately it goes to the same background that we had in the GNOME example. And this will also update every day without you having to do anything. As soon as you start working with the desktop every day, it will be updated. Lastly, we're going to talk about um, XFCE. Now, this is a little bit more complex. And you can see that I'm running Linux Mint here with an XFCE-based um, system. Now, remember, Linux Mint is Debian-based, so I am going to be showing some Debian-based commands here. If you're using an Arch system, you're going to have to look up a little bit different commands. Um, first thing that you have to have is you have to have Git installed. And Git is a application that allows you to access repositories and copy directories word for word from the internet onto your computer. And the reason this is necessary is that XFCE does not have any particular application or setting that allows you to put Bing wallpaper on there. However, um, this person did write a script in Python that allows it to happen. So you clone uh, with Git, you clone the directory that this person has written. And then in the terminal, you go to that directory that is now on your computer. And you can see that the command is to change directory to XFCE Bing wallpaper that you have created. And in here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna see that this directory, we're gonna run as their further instructions, the Python script that was here. And once this script is run, it should immediately change the wallpaper. And you can see underneath here that the wallpaper is now the same as it was for both GNOME and KDE. We have successfully changed to Bing's wallpaper of the day. However, this will not update on a daily basis. So what you have to do is you have to put it in the startup applications and you have to add that script to your startup routine each time. Now the one pitfall to this is it won't update automatically every day. If you log off at the end of your workday or your computer session and then log back on, it will execute it. If you shut your computer down and turn it back on at the end of the day, it will execute it and update it. But if you leave your computer in a suspended mode, without logging off or restarting. It will not update this unless you manually run the script to get the Bing wallpaper of the day. So here I am creating a startup application where I'm going to actually reference the, um, the script that was written. So remember this is a Python 3 script, which it should be built into your Linux. And we're gonna go and we're gonna look for that script, find its exact location on the hard drive. And we're gonna put that in there. And last but not least, you're gonna add the script name, which is being wallpaper Python. And we're gonna execute that. And we're gonna have that at each startup and each log on, log off. And this should work very well for creating a Bing wallpaper of the day on XFCE. So, having said all of that, this shows us how to do it on all three of the popular shells. If you found this helpful, please hit the subscribe button down below. And thanks for stopping by at Bites Bread and Barbecue.